Hey YouTube, welcome to another video from Skinny Medic. In this video, I have an after action report for you. This is where we take body cam, cell phone footage, stuff like that, of an actual incident, and we kind of review it and go over it. That way, if you ever happen to be the first responder, you're a little more aware, and hopefully you can save a life. In this video, we're gonna take a look at an officer trying to apply a soft tea tourniquet. There's some blood, uh, so if you don't like blood, probably skip to another channel. Uh, but um, we're going to look at a police officer attempting to apply a soft tea tourniquet to a victim. Hey, we're going to put a, a, a tourniquet on you, okay? Wait, 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 wait. Hey, you can let go. Let go real quick. Let go. Let go. Let go. Let go, sir. Let go. We're going to put on The first thing I notice is we don't see a lot of blood actually on the arm. But if you look on the ground, there is a fair amount of blood on the ground. So I'm not against an officer applying a tourniquet here until EMS or someone can evaluate it. So no fault there. There is a good bit of blood on the ground. We know as the pressure, blood pressure starts to fall in the body that it's not going to be squirting blood anymore or things like that. So there may be a lot of blood somewhere. We just don't know it. It does look like there's a good bit of blood on the ground here. So not necessarily just squirting from the arm like that. I don't have a problem with an officer applying a tourniquet here. Maybe let's do direct pressure here just to see if we can get the bleeding control. Uh, but if they can't get bleeding control with direct pressure, I don't have a problem with the officer applying a tourniquet and then letting it be reevaluated by EMS. And then we take a look at it going, I appreciate it. Probably didn't need a tourniquet. And you take tourniquet off, put a pressure bandage, use some combat gauze, sea locks, hemostatic agent, just some regular gauze with a pressure bandage and drive the hospital. One is we want the officer to be able to apply the tourniquet because if there is major bleeding, they're going to bleed it out before EMS ever gets there. If we can now downgrade that tourniquet where we're like, all right, let's evaluate it where they didn't need it then we can save the patient a lot of pain. Like that's the biggest thing. These things hurt. So if we have a patient that we have a tourniquet on and now we get their blood pressure up, we can give them fentanyl, ketamine, Versed, some good drugs there. Uh, but now if we take this off and we're able to convert it into a pressure bandage, then we don't need the narcotics. We can give them some Tylenol. Like I said, the officer's trying to apply a soft T. So this looks like in the video, the same tourniquet I have here. Uh, this is the latest generation of the soft tea from TacMed Solution. It's a good tourniquet. A lot of people like it, a lot of people carry it. Uh, so it's a good quality tourniquet. We'll take the rubber bands off, just how I had it stored here. You have a metal windlass. You now have a plastic clip here that's gonna clip in that we can disconnect, connect back if we need to, but this is now like a polymer plastic here. You also have a uh, plastic catch here that when we tighten this up, may not necessarily be able to get it into the triangle at first. So this kind of catches it and then we can put it in the triangle. The other thing that I like about the new generation of soft tea is this little red triangle here. That's going to let us know that we pull the slack up enough to start turning the windlass. So that's one of the main things that goes wrong with someone applying a tourniquet. Which you can see here, it's way too loose in the video when also trying to apply it. So if we pull that, we tighten this down, we get it nice and cinched tight across the arm, the leg, this has now disappeared. Now you can start turning the windlass until the blood stops. Tourniquets are made for arms and legs. They go in, put this above the injury site. I'm not gonna get into an argument. We can down in the comments if you want to, I appreciate it, uh, about high and tight versus a few inches above the wound. Oh, that's a dead horse. But above the injury site, that's the most important thing. This tightens up here and I get it as tight as I can get it. I don't want to be able to get any fingertips up under here. Now I turn this windlass until the bleeding stops. So you can see on the new soft T, it has a little track system now that has caught it. So now it's good. So that way if I fumble and I can't quite get it into the triangle, which I am fumbling with here, it's locked into place. Now I got it in there. 
we'll leave that video in there you guys can see it so now you have your timestamp. you can write down what time you applied the tourniquet good to go once ems gets there they're going to see this tourniquet on i would evaluate it i'm going to look at it so i'm going to look at the blood on the ground kind of take my patient's blood pressure some vital signs kind of see if i think they're in shock but if they're in shock it stays on if they're not in shock and i don't see a lot of blood let's try to downgrade it so i may take some galls put it on that wound and then slowly maybe just take half a turn off of this and let it sit let it evaluate a couple couple minutes Take it loose again until I get this completely off. Reevaluate it. If I've got the bleeding control, pressure bandage, nice easy ride to the hospital. If it starts bleeding again, easy enough. Just to wrap the tourniquet back around and lock it back in place. Give some pain meds. These are painful. So hopefully this video helps. We kind of talked about a few different things about when to apply a tourniquet. And we actually talked about downgrading a tourniquet in this video, which could be super helpful. I would leave that to the medical professionals paramedic EMTs, doctors, nurses that actually downgrade this tourniquet. Uh, but there is a possibility that we can downgrade the tourniquet and there's a lot of talk recently about downgrading tourniquets. So just kind of want to mention it in this video. And also, if you're looking for a tourniquet, you're looking for a soft tee to put in your kit, to put in your pocket, go to medicalgearoutfitters.com. Thank you guys for watching. You never know when you'll be the first responder. Remember the right gear and the right training.